Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so, yes, it finally got here. And yes, I did pre-order the Scooby-Doo. And it finally got here. And so I'm really happy right now. And I went ahead and got started. Um, I did go ahead and use, let's see, the e.l.f. Halo Glow in Fair One as my primer. And then the Pretty Fresh by ColourPop. And this one's in the uh, warm 53 and I have been using self tanner so I am using some shades that are a little darker than I normally do um, I also use the ColourPop uh, La Cienga and then the NYX uh, Thicket Stick It in Light Ash Brown so I've got sort of a base going and I thought I'd go ahead and show you the palette and it's way cool it's got um, yeah, holographic, so it changes. So, okay, I don't know. Yeah, there we go. So we got Scooby-Doo here, and then we change it, and we've got the whole gang. So, yeah, Scooby, and then the whole gang. So it's way cool, and I'm, I'm already glad that I got it. So, yeah, and I have gone ahead and swatched it for you. Uh, this is what the palette looks like, and apparently each of the characters has a row going across, from what I understand. Or, yeah, that's a row going across. And so uh, this row is all shimmers, this row is all mattes. This one is a combination of um, shimmers and mattes. This one's a combo of shimmer and mattes. And then this one is all mattes. So uh, that's the way that this looks. And um, I haven't even played with it yet as far as swatches go. Uh, this is what I have for the swatches. And so that's what I have there. And as far as getting started on an eye look, Let's go ahead and do that. Well, let me show you this first off. Um, this is also, this is all by Glamlight, and I pre-ordered the Scooby-Doo, um, and I don't usually do that. I'm usually a spur at the moment as far as getting stuff. And so um, I picked up this too, and this is, let's see if we can get it. Yeah. So we got Scooby and the girls here, and then um, just Velma and Louise, or yeah, that's it, isn't it? No, Velma and Daphne. Sorry, it's been a long time. So as far as the way that the blush palette looks, that's what the blush palette looks like. But I figured we probably should go ahead and do the eye look before we get into uh, the blush. So um, let's see. I think maybe what I'd like to do is maybe a green look working on these first two rows and then um, go ahead and do several looks off of it, but start with the green look. And I think what I'm going to go ahead and start with is this color uh, in the crease here. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and do fingers. And these don't actually have shade names on them, but yeah, they have a lot of pigment because I have, uh, let's see, the Pretty Fresh Concealer on, and yeah, this is what I have the, as far as the base for eyeshadow is a Pretty Fresh Concealer. I don't know if I mentioned that I put that on. Um, hmm. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a little bit of this screen right above the crease here. So that's another, that's a pretty grassy green. And then this one is more of a grungy one over here. Um, let's see. How about some of this shade in the corner or in the inner corner oh pigment pigment oh tons of pigment here okay so the mats are gorgeous and the shimmers have a lot of pigment And 
And everything has a lot of pigment. Ah. Okay. So as far as going into the outer corner, uh, this green looks absolutely gorgeous here. So I'm going to go ahead and try that. That almost goes teal. Yes, I am making a big mess, but I'm having fun making a big mess. So, yep, it's a big mess. Okay. There we go there. And then I think for the actual lid itself, um, gonna stay with the green look and go to this one right here, which is a lime kind of green. So, um, let's see what else we got here. Pretty colors all the way around. And now that I got my fingers all covered, try cleaning it up a little bit and use some of the uh, Pretty Fresh concealer to try to get a little bit cleaned up and a little bit more concealer and then I think we should be good. So that's very definitely a green look right there. Um, as far as bronzer for this look, uh, let's go ahead and go with the Bikini Contest here. This is by Wet n Wild. And then the brush that I have for this one is um, this one, those BS Mall brushes off of Amazon. Okay, so I'm back. Had um, the camera decided that it needed me to pay attention to it, even though I was doing a first impression, but um, we're, we should be back at this point. So, um, yeah, that's good. As far as what I was doing, I think I just finished up with the highlighter. This is the Revlon 201 Daybreak. The um, it's actually uh, Jupa the Amoresi highlight, which ABH did for a long time, and then nobody knows why they discontinued it, but they did. And again, um, this is a first impression on the Scooby-Doo palette, and it has holographic, so yeah, that's way cool. Yeah, I know. I'm easily amused, but I think it's way cool. <laughs> and... Um, Let's see, as far as going ahead and doing, okay, uh, yeah, these mats are really creamy, and yeah, they, they're like butter, they just, it's beautiful. There's no tucking at your eyes with this, it's just going on really, really easy. So yeah. I think we got a look going on, and uh, let me go ahead and, <clears throat> and do some mascara here. I'm actually going to put on the Girl Please by um, ColourPop. Uh, I had on the La Cienca. This first color here, and... Um, Let's go ahead and go with the It Mascara, the Superhero Mascara by It Cosmetics. Okay. So, almost there. Yeah, it's a pretty green look. And um, as far as going through the swatches again, uh, the shimmers have a lot of pigment, and the mattes um, blend amazingly easy, and uh, everything is gorgeous. 
don't have anything bad to say about it. Um, it's very, very colorful, which for me is a wonderful thing. Um, if you, yeah, the only thing that I'm not seeing a lot of is like an inner corner color or a right under the brow color. There really isn't one in this palette. So if you uh, like to go ahead and work with those shades, you may need to pull something in. But as far as going for vibrant and really pretty um, and very, very colorful, this this palette can do it for you. Um, I think they're actually still selling these until, what is it? Um, it's really close to the end. I think they've had this on sale for about a month. And they said that it was going to be a very limited release. Okay, so I went ahead and finished up my look and uh, used some of the Huda Glowish powder. Um, but I was really feeling that this video was kind of ending on a sad note and um yeah it took me a second to think about it and yeah it doesn't need to add on a sad note because guess what um these ones are still available so these are scooby-doo this one is rut row reggae and so this is the color story here i did go ahead and swatch it so here are the swatches as far as this particular palette and um, yeah, I'm not sure how much longer the large palette is going to be available, but this one is definitely still available. And um, the other one, which I just now got, it's Creeps and Crawlies, or Creeps and Crawls. And so um, this is the other Scooby Doo Glam Light palette, which is this one. And it's another beautiful color story. And here are the swatches of it right here. And so um, both of these palettes are still available. So if you um, didn't get the larger palette, these ones are available. And I think also the blush palette, last time I checked, that one's available too. Um, so this is a big collection and this larger palette was a result of these two palettes doing so well and um, the Glam Light formula is amazing. So uh, there are options out there and um, I, I miss the Scooby-Doo bag. It had sold out before I got there but uh, there are definitely uh, parts of this collection that are definitely still available. So, um, with that, I think this is finally the actual end of the video, and um, I hope that you have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye.